You've reached Josh Bernstein Re Would you look at that? There you are, hmm? Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm -hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's n nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs wheels <laughs> well, well she can throw herself under my wheels anytime oh <laughs> i knew you were funny Josh. yeah i knew i would like you C can i have a hug okay yeah uh, hug, yeah uh, okay. Come here. Uh, i've got a pr protruding hip it's not a semi nigel John, no. you won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among, among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. You're me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lock-up I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! Come on, Jock, get in! He's taking a left turn! On the high street, Jock! Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams! All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known! I loved him in The Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line! This is turban warfare, motherfucker! <laughs> it's uncanny! <laughs> oh, dear. Poor Jock must think we're batty. Oh, don't be silly. I hear. Oh, I won't. Jock, do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably what? eats sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if he wants meth? Don't get flustered again, Nigel. You'll have another turn. Find out! He's going into the car park. The car park? No worries, mate. Oh, I hope he likes us. How could he not? This lockup you've prepared sounds charming. Just be yourself, Mrs. Thornhill. Find out! Oh, my giddy aunt. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. You have to lower the tone. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. We'll never get that deposit back. This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunts you used to do. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. Little by little, I'm tiptoe. Is he going through the hospital? Oh my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Uh, 
seems rude not to follow him through the window. Bloody hell! That's a thrill! Uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you! Come on! Come on! Let me meet your biggest fan! Ah. Oh, you're fucking crazy! Oh, it's Get Anthony! Off Anthony. Me. You're good to go! Ah, a true gentleman! This is so exciting! Nut jobs. Your fucking car! Where you headed, homie? Rancho. Okay, buddy, there you go. Blanket out. Oh, there you are, there you are. Tony, Tony, wasn't it? Here I am. You taught that bastard. Yeah, maybe. All right, well, you earned it. Room nine, she's right up there. Go for it, man, she, she's, she's, <laughs> well, you just knock yourself out, okay? Hey, Whew. hope you had a good time up there, Tony. <laughs> listen, listen, I don't know if you feel up for it or anything, but uh, maybe you could go give Lenny a wake-up call. This is what he looks like, right here, okay? Now, I think you can find him. He'll be doing some showings over Rockford Hills today. I'll give him more than a wake-up call. That's it. That's it. I love you. I love you. Love you, man. I love you. Oh, hey, that, that, that's my car. Yeah, I'm taking it. Well, look after it, please. I'm late on the payments. What a great day this is turning into all of a sudden. If it isn't my favorite real estate broker. Tony, buddy, are, are you in Rockford Hills yet? Almost. Good, I, I, I forgot to tell you. Avery drives a green Comet. Nah, don't worry, I'll find him. And after I scare the living shit out of this guy, I get some more, uh, bouncy, right? Oh, oh yeah, of course. But, but uh, Tony, Tony, listen, I, I kind of told him that you were coming. So much for the element of surprise. I want him to know who's behind the pain that he's about to experience. Uh, listen, I gotta go. Don't let me down, bud. Sweetie! You wanna end 
Stop the truth of this thing! Commission. Oh, wow. Shit, no. Get out, Lenny. Don't make this any worse than it already is. Oh, God, this can't be happening. Stay. Away from Josh's business, or next time I won't be so gentle. Okay, okay, I got it. Just calm down. Nobody needs to get shot. Message received, okay? This is a voice from your past. Let's get together and pretend things aren't weird. Hey, Trevor. Uh, yeah, sure. Good. I've been monitoring your movements. I can be there soon.
Let's do this. Cute. So, Mike, I should probably say... What? Well, maybe I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. I mean, let's be honest, Brad was a dick and things were getting out of control. I mean, you had the kids and you'd already missed so much of their growing up, I could feel like I was losing you, you know, so I pushed you harder. I thought that, that was how to keep you in the game and I didn't want to lose you. I've said that already. Have I? Well, it was gonna blow up, man. We all knew it was, and I guess... I guess I'm happy you made it out alive. And with enough money to make sure your kids became total, complete nightmares. Hey, I mean, if you'd taken less, you know, a, a couple million, they'd only be dicks. But with your savings, you were able to truly, completely ruin them. Selfish, soft, without any skill. <laughs> they got it all. You've provided for their future. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny, because it's true. It's also kind of sad. Hey, bro, they're sweet. Kinda. Brad was a dick, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he was. Bless him. There's a bar right around here. You want to grab a drink? Thanks for stopping by.
believe it or not. No problem. All right, brother, here we are. Look at that! Yeah, put him up! Oh, it's you. What are you idiots up to, huh? Мы здесь защищаем честь Америки. Это предназначено судьбою. Гордая страна, которая может совершить геноцид и назвать это волею Божьей. Fellow can't speak. Two words of English, but he knows this is the best country. Jesus! Hey, hey, what's that? The illegals ruining the place. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's, let's go. Get in. Get in. Rachen. You still got that stun gun? Oh, good man. Always prepared. Oh! Oh, the depths I'll troll for 500 bucks. Hey, Civil Border Patrol! Keep your hands where I can see them! This is a citizen's arrest! Not you lunatics again! You could have killed me! Get in a vehicle now, sir! Dvigai! Dvigai! Okay, okay! boys. <laughs> now head for the C-Man factory. We got reports of more illegals working over there. Where are you taking me? This is a kidnapping. This is time for you to go home to Mexico, sir. What are you talking about? This is my home. I have my papers right here. Oh, yeah? Well, let me see that. Oops. Is Rook Viscacini? You won't get away with this. I report you! <laughs> you want to report me? <laughs> Are you sure this old man's a threat to American freedom? Sure as I've ever been about anything. Jesus, you're a real fuckwit. How'd you get your hands on this patrol car? Uh, I'm a proud park ranger, my friend. A trained security professional enjoying his time off. Well, and Joseph here, uh, well, I ain't sure what he does for a living. You see, we're men. We don't talk about ourselves. We're two like-minded pro-Americans who met online, and that's all I need to know. Step on it, Trevor! Well, now that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. Probably cartel members or child molesters. All they want to do is work menial jobs for abysmal pay with no benefits. Нам не нужны дешевые товары, которые они производят. And do they report that income? No, sorry. Much like the income I'm receiving for current services rendered. What are you talking about? I pay my taxes. Yeah, well, you tell it to the extradition panel, buddy. 
Civil Border Patrol, run and I'll put you down again. You understand me? Okay, okay. Let's go, buddy. You're coming with us. Yeah, yeah, underlay, underlay. Come on, move. In the vehicle, now. I said move or I will zap you again. I'm getting in, okay? Crazy assholes! All right, fellas, let's go back for the other one. I thought I had an irrational hatred for my fellow man, but you two are something else. Please, I have a family. Well, that ain't my problem, sir. You've outstayed your generous welcome offer to you by these here United States. They're arrested for protesting against democracy. What? Go. Oh, car, go now. Okay, Jesus. Двига или я тебя заставлю двигаться. Go, go, fucker, go. Take it easy. I'm going. I'm going. Good work, everyone. Thanks for the help, Trevor. You're a fine patriot. We'll take it from here. So I just get left here? We made Uncle Sam proud today. Would you send out a Stay where you are. Hey, my man, where you going? Polito for... Okay, buddy. There you go. There you are, Trevor. Oh, if it ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, y'all need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. 
I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on, put him down. You're colder than a mother-in-law's kiss. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I... Oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. Shot like a true professional. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. I'd say there's good. Now lay him in the shade. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild-raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth. And come by to pick it up as soon as I can. 
I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you.